Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and today I'm doing another Bionicle Classic Rev- Wait, that's not right. No, this is a Bionicle 2015 review. Or just a Lego set review. But anyways, I have here set number 70787, Tahu Master of Fire. He is 89 pieces plus 3 extra pieces, and he is about $20 but I got him for $21.55. So that So anyways, Tahu is a one of the biggest sets that there is um and he's one of the only sets that I have. So anyways, um let's take a first before we take a look at the set and the instructions, let's take a look at the box. So first off, we have the age limit. It would be age recommendation. It would be age, ages 8 to 14, set number, piece count. And then we have the Name of the set, which is Tahu, Master of Fire. And then we have the Bionicle logo at, to at the top with the Mask of Creation. And then we have a picture of the set. And then here on the back, we it shows all the action features, including the gear function, the pop-off mask function, function, and how you can attach the skull spider to the to Tahu's face. You as well get a little comic here, here with Tahu. And on the side here, you get a little thing how you can combine set number 70783, the Protector of Fire, with 70787, Tahu Master Fire, to make the ultimate Tahu combination model. But, or you could just keep them like this. But anyways, that pretty much goes over the box. Anyways, nothing really here, it's just that. Um, this is very, this is, car, this is made out of cardboard, so it's still nice, I like it, um, box opens up easily, and it has tape on it when you get it, um, and it doesn't actually rip off any of the printing on the box, so, and this is actually, this works surprisingly well for cardboard, it's actually pretty thin cardboard, but it works well with me, works well, so anyways, that's the box, let's go ahead, Get that out of the way, and move on to the instruction manual. So the instruction manual, top Lego Bionicle logo, um, picture of the set, with the set number also. Then inside here, we have the comic again. Um, it shows an extra picker, pic oh, shows an extra pic picture right here, where it has the protector of fire giving Tahu his, all his gear. And then here we have the instructions that um, if you're clueless on what to do, if you can't find any of the parts, it recommends you organize them into separate or organized piles. And then it also shows you how to build the skull spider, which is only five parts, and then instruction stuff. So yeah, all that instruction stuff. Then we get to the end where it shows the final model, or it actually shows the rest of it. Um, this is actually the final model that you get. Um, this is what it looks like right there. But then you can, it also shows instructions on what to do if you want to turn his lava board into twin lava blades. So yeah, you can do that. And then that's what he looks like with the lava blades. And then it shows, the, how many, shows all the pieces here. Um, a picture of all the Toa and the and the Lord of Skull Spiders jumping to get the Mask of Creation. Then here is the um, advertisement for a combination model and a Lego Bionicle app, which I think I have. And then here it shows all the Toa here in their golden mask, as, as well as the Mask of Creation. And then here on the back, it has a little thing where you can say you could, where it says you can win something. But anyways, let's get onto the set now. Okay, now we're gonna actually go over the set itself. So, anyways, here's Tahu, Master of Fire. First, we go over the new pieces. So, um, some of the new pieces would include these um, new gold protector pieces. You get six of them in this set. So, if you like getting new pieces, this is probably the set to get. Um, even though it's only worth it's worth twenty dollars, it was a lot. But then again, the uh, the smaller Toa aren't really aren't really are only five dollars less. So to me, not a big deal that it was twenty dollars. I think it was worth it. But anyways, moving back on to here. So yeah, it would, um, new pieces would include this piece. The I already said it, and then 
there's this piece is also new. It is a um it is a um it is a translucent um neon orange um armor piece, a four long armor piece. So that's uh that's pretty new. I think it's new. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. I think it's new. It's a new length. And that length is in, in a new color, I think. And then you also you get um four of those in the set. And then another new piece. Um well it's not really considered a new piece, but I think it's considered a new recolor. So um we have this um golden chest piece in gold and but the printing is definitely new. This is this printing is exclusively only for Tahu. So so yeah, it's a pretty nice thing to get. So you got that new printed. That's not a sticker, it's print. Another new piece would include his red Kanohi Mask of Fire. And along with the set, you as well get a golden Kanohi Mask of Fire. So that's really nice. So you get two of those. You get um Let's see, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure if this yellow gear is new. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. I know the gear piece isn't new, but I don't know if it's a new, in a new color or not. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And then we have these new lava blades. They're, these are actually um, two. Um, they can combine to make this awesome lava board. These um, silver, the silver parts are new. The silver, there are, there are two pieces. But these things are not new. We have got these before in Hero Factory. These red, translucent, orange, yellow, red pieces. And then the next new thing would be the um, the gearbox on the back of the body. Um, they first used a standard Hero Factory torso that we have used most of the time. And then, but the arms are connected to the back on this gearbox, this new gearbox piece. So this is really nice. The um, only piece new on the gearbox is basically the gearbox piece, which it comes in a type of dark gray. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what it looks like. It's like this new piece where you can just take out where you can put in the gears, and and here's also it's got some friction there for the um, thing. And then let's go ahead and put that on. The next new piece would be the um the new Bionicle head or the and the Bionicle eyepiece. So um this is a really nice, I really, really like it. I've it even though it looks actually really similar similar to the two thousand and to, to the two thousand six um Paraka head and the eyepiece um reminds me of the eyepiece from Bionicle two thousand and four, I believe. From the Toamet from Toamechu Anua and Toamechu Nuju, but it's not the same. It's completely new. So and it has a thing where you can push on the back and knock the mask off. But now I think we've got gotten through all the new pieces. Let's get on to the function. One other thing I actually did forget to go over is the complement the complementary skull sky skull spider you get. So in this is a bad thing! Well, a bad thing for the Toa, but a good thing for us. So, it actually adds on. I'll explain later why it's good for us and why it's bad for the Toa. So anyways, the Skull, Sp the skull Spider uses completely new pieces. The Skull Spider mask in this set is in a very light um, lime green. And then we also get these new type of leg pieces, which are really similar to the old Hero Factory pieces, Hero Factory Arachnix leg pieces, but these are different. These are new and different leg pieces. So anyways, um, and then you can also attach it to the face, which I will go over. But now, now let's get on to the functions. Okay, we are now going to go over the functions. So first function I'm gonna go over is actually not just a function, but it's also called, you can also pronounce it as dual functionality. So we'll go ahead and take Tahu's lava board off his foot, and his lava board basically connects to these two pins. And then you can, just, and then if you want to, you can put these pins back on. And then you would take, basically take that out, and then, Split these apart, put this like that, 
and then put the lava blades in his hand and kaboom you have got tahu now with lava blades so now and that brings me to the next thing we also have with the gear with the new gearbox piece on the back we are able to have a gear function so um you can see this um this um well um this brightly colored yellow gear here you just um twist it and it makes the arms move so that is really really cool they brought back gear functions from 2001 2002 and 2003 so that's really nice and really nice feature to have so probably one of my favorite parts of the set but the last function will be the pop-off mask function so um we have tahu here and then we have this um blue we have the um eye stock in the back or eye piece in the back if you um push the top of it the mask will pop off or fly off whatever you want to say so and then you can easily attach one of the other two masks one of the other three masks you do his normal red kanohi his golden kanohi or you can or he can be attacked by the evil skull spider now it's a good bad thing for the toa because they will be taken over and will be controlled by the skull spider but it's a good thing for us because we have an enemy because it actually comes with an enemy to fight so we're not just playing ah oh, i have tahu but i don't know i don't know we'll know what to make him do he doesn't have anybody to fight well with the skull spider in the set you have some you have you have something to, for him to fight and so you can easily attach it recommends you um so let's go ahead and pop that on it recommends you um wrap the legs around it so, um, around his face but you can just do it like that or you can simply do it like that try to make the legs go in but not all the way but i'm not gonna even try right now because it's just gonna use up a lot of our time but anyways i think that goes over the functions for tahu and simply pop that off i'm gonna put on the gold mask and where did the gold mask go oh, here it is so there we go Oh wait, one more function. He's got two gold blades on the back that have a lot of mobility or movability on the back, so you can make them stick out, and then you can also use them as backup swords. You just simply take them out like that, and then when you're done, put them back on like that. So, anyways, that goes over Tahu's functions and everything, new pieces, all that stuff. Now let's get into the problems and likes and the likes about the set and the problems. Okay, now I'm going to go over the likes and dislikes about the set. We'll go over the likes first. Um, one thing I like... Um, base, I like the, um, all the functions. They're really nice. Like the pop-off mask function. Like, I like every single function on here. Backup swords, everything. Um, um, like number two would be, um, you get a cool, nice new skull spider. Number three would be the, um... Number three would probably be just because it's a great set, like a great, it could be a great gift. Even, so yeah, it's a great gift to give, like for a birth, like if it's some, if you're, if, if, ew, if it's your friend's birthday, it's a great, it's a great gift to get. Um, so yeah, great gift. Now I'm going over the dislikes. There aren't a lot, but dislike number one, I think it's overpriced, because back in the day of Bionicle, a $20 set would usually be known as a Titan set, and the Titan sets were usually the biggest ones. And, yeah, so, and then dislike number two would be the, um, these friction joints. Um, they sometimes, um, the legs can come off the joints easily, but you don't have to worry about those too much because they'll loosen up in time. Um, oh, another like about the set would be all the new parts you get, especially the three masks. Um, and I think, um... Dislike number three would probably be the box. I think they should have done the canisters again, and it's really thin cardboard. But anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will hopefully be doing more of these soon, so thank you for watching, and keep building!